what exactly is making the superpower the US, the UN, etc., so powerless that they have to settle with and accept the fact that the nation is now being run by terrorists officially? The United States is the only major superpower as of today. They are not powerless. They have engineered the situation in which a nation is being run by terrorists. They have ensured that the nation was handed over to these terrorists on a platter. They have ensured that they left behind billions, tens of billions of dollars worth of weaponry and mountains of cash and much more ammunition, arms, weaponry, cash, and uh, possibly fuel supplies and whatnot, right? The Americans have ensured this. And the United Nations, like I've said, it is nothing but an instrument of powerful countries like the US and the, and the Chinese. I would say the US still control the UN more than, more than the Chinese do. So the UN is essentially not getting involved in Afghanistan at all. The UN will lecture India on Kashmir, but they will keep quiet about what's happening in Afghanistan under the Taliban. That is the reality of the United Nations. It is not an organization that we need to take seriously. So they are not involved in Afghanistan. They are doing nothing apart from tweeting something. Yeah. And the US is not powerless. The US can bomb the Taliban to the Stone Age tomorrow if they want to. They have chosen not to. They have chosen to give the Taliban the country on a plate. So there is some long-term geopolitical game being played uh, as of today, as of right now. Any geopolitical analyst, if you ask them, they can only speculate as to what, what is happening. But the Americans definitely have a, a long-term plan for the region. And this is part of that process. The handing over of Afghanistan to the Taliban without any, any real resistance. So yes, the country is now being run by terrorists officially. Maybe very soon this terrorist designation may be removed and they may be, well, considered, they may be given the title of the legitimate government of Afghanistan. This may happen very soon, maybe next six months, maybe one year, maximum two years. It may actually happen, maybe even sooner. So that is the situation right now. There's a long-term geopolitical game being played and it, is, it has all been engineered by the United States by the US, not anybody else.